Hello Mass Attacks here and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at a battle from the double barrel tier 9 Russian heavy tank, the IS-32. Before we get into the action, I'll show you my crew and equipment I'm currently using on this tank. My crew on this tank, it's not a bad crew. My commander's on four skills, the rest are on to the third skill. The equipment that I use on this tank is quartered optics, a gun laying drive and vertical stabiliser. So let's have a look at the battle. Today I'm playing on Siegfried line, the assault mode, I'm the defending team and I've got the 6-9 matchmaking and I'm top tier today. I'm also platooned up with my brother again, who's playing the EMX 5120. So straight away, when I'm defending and when I'm in a top tier heavy tank, I always like to get to this corner, see if any stragglers on the field that I can see. Can I see anybody yet? There's a few lit up, but I kind of get shots into them. I'm going to quickly push out, see if I can get that Ferdinand. Just bounce a shot from an FV 4202. I am getting a little bit wary, it's a bit aggressive that game player. Spot the Scorpion G, he's to me left. So I'm just going to pull back to the position I started at. Out of the four double barrel tanks that's in the game, this is by far my favourite. I do absolutely love this tank. Love playing it. Just been hit by the artillery, so I've used my first aid kit. Trev's covering the top corner on the ridge, trying to light them up, and I can see the back of the FV4202. Let's try a double shot. Bang! Both hit. And that's one of the reasons I love playing this tank. You get 222mm guns on this, with 243 penetration, 390 alpha damage. I've tried to boost the gun handling as much as possible with my equipment, because it is poor on this tank. Even with my crew and equipment that I've got on it, my aim time is 2.56 seconds, which is a long time, and the dispersion is 0.38, which is also a poor. There's that FV again. Didn't penetrate with that shot. Can I get him with a second? And I've taken him out. It is always handy having that second shell loaded. With my crew and equipment, my reload time is 9.85 seconds per gun, which is 19.7 seconds for both barrels to be loaded. If you use your guns, just like how I've used them on the FV, fire one shell, then fire the alternate gun. There is a five second delay before you can fire the second gun. If you fire both guns together, once you press the fire button, you've got to hold it down and it does take two and a half seconds to charge before it fires. So that is no good for hitting targets on the move. You can also play this in a single shot mode. Doesn't matter if you empty both barrels because the reload time for each barrel is exactly the same. So it doesn't matter if you fire both shells or just one, the reload for the next shell is exactly the same. Other good things about this gun is you get 8 degrees of gun depression, which is fantastic on a Russian heavy tank. You hardly ever get any gun depression. And you also get to carry 74 shells, so you can take plenty of everything. So back to the battle. Our Trevor's fallen, got finished off at that top corner. And they are pushing from the south. They have taken the south side. So I'm going to have a look through the middle. TS5. Didn't penetrate the first shot, but he has got good armour. Didn't penetrate the second either, but I have managed to get him to push back. Give me team a little bit breathing space. Artillery's hit us again. I did bounce the shot from the TS5. I can't use my first aid kit. It's on a cooldown. But I do manage to get a shot into that TS5. Track sorted. See if I can get another shot in. Bottom plate. Didn't penetrate. I'm really concerned about behind us now. There's gaps all over in our defences now. I'm going to leave that TS5 now. 
have a look behind us. I'm a bit concerned about who's pushing across this field. There's an Indian Panzer. Snapshot into him. Bit of Russian luck there. Pull back a bit. Just lost our Leopard PTE. I'm going to leave me Mod 1 guarding that corner. And I'm going to move back to this corner. And I'll tell you about the armour on this tank. On the hull you get 145mm on the front. 90mm on the side. 60mm on the rear. But it is one of the Pike Nose tanks. So it is angled, and I really fluffed a shot there. I was expecting that 54 Mod 1 to drive straight past, but I did bounce the shot from him. Scorpion G, do get a snapshot into him, and he missed his shot. There's a big artillery shot into the back of us. My armor's not going to stand up to that. So back to the armor. The turret armor, you do get 280 millimeters on the front, which is fantastic. 150 millimeters on the side with 130 millimeters on the rear i do find that the armor on this tank does stand up well you do bounce a lot of shots i do find it's the best out of all the double barrel tanks tier for tier so i'm making my way to a different corner now see if anybody's pushing through there but they aren't i have got both guns loaded just pull them back i am concerned about the artillery now I have taken four shots from that artillery. Looks like he's zoning into us. There's a Ferdinand pushing across the field, so I'm going to see if I can take him out. Didn't have time to fire both barrels together, but I have getting one in. Can I get a second shot? Tried it, but he was just below the slope, so I've missed that shot. Just pull him back. Don't know the direction of the artillery, so I'm hiding behind this wall. Trying to protect myself from it. Looks like a T-34 is going to push this rear. He is. Got one barrel loaded. I managed to get a shot in. Just pull him back. I'm going to push forward again to this pile of rubble. So I'm hauled down. And there I bounce the shot. And finish him off. If you fire while you're reloading the second barrel, you do lose all that reload time. So you go back to a full reload. So now I'm just going to push out into the field. I want to get that Ferdinand, and there he is. Didn't penetrate, but I did track him. I tried to angle my armor there before he could get the shot in, but I couldn't do it quick enough, and he did manage to get the shot in. Can I get his bottom plate? I'm stunned, so I've used my first aid kit to repair that. Did bounce the shot from the Ferdinand. As I was saying, the armor stands up well. I'm sick of that artillery now. Can I finish this Ferdinand off? Bounced the shot again and got his lower plate and took him out. I am going to go for that artillery now. That's the fifth time he's hit us. When I played this battle, my crew weren't as good as what they are now. Because I have played it a lot since I've gotten it. As you can see, I didn't have my view range up to the maximum. But now I have got it up to the maximum 440. So I shouldn't have any problems spotting them. I do know the direction the shells has been coming from. I have left me medium tanks fighting that some more, but I can go back to help them. I just want a bit of peer back on this artillery. And there he is. I'm going to try a double shot on him. There it goes. And boom. Both shots hit. So now I can head back to the town. Not worry about that artillery focusing us. The mobility on this tank is nothing special. You get a top speed going forward of 38 kilometers an hour and a reverse speed of 15 which is nice if you're playing a ridge line looks like our medium tanks are surrounded that some more yes they have and he's been taken out let's have a quick look at the stats was a class one barge we've got the spartan medal which have got a survivor ricochet or non-penetrating shot from an enemy player your vehicle must have less than 10 percent of its hit points and you must survive that was the shot from the ferdinand we also got the high caliber for our 5372 damage top of the tree for xp with a bsxp of 1272 top for damage we made 38,000 credits Plus 3,148 XP, that's due to playing in a platoon and a personal reserve bonus. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle, I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's a little icon in the bottom right hand corner. And if you have any feedback, please could you leave it via the thumbs buttons in the comment section below. Cheers.